Did you know that Nebraska has over 13 species or different types of bats? And over eight of them really don't leave the state. They're here year round. So that means they hibernate someplace in Nebraska. Lots of times that's in people's homes. Now of our 13 bats, two or three are about the only ones people ever see and about the only ones that will really get into a home and cause any kind of nuisance problems. How do we control bats? Well, one, we really don't need to control bats. We just need to stop them from getting to places we don't want them to be. And that's like in your home, maybe around your porch, around your home, flying over your swimming pool, or dive bombing an area where there's water like a bird bath in your backyard. So we really want to stop those things from occurring, but we don't want to really get rid of any of the bats. Bats are beneficial. They eat tons of moths and wasps and other flying insects, and they even eat some mosquitoes. Now, why would they get into a home? Well, there's two reasons. In the summer, they hang around a home because there's food. The light emitted through your window brings in moths and attracts mosquitoes and other flying insects. You have a porch light. You always know those flies and other insects are flying around those porch lights in the summer. Well, that is a buffet to the bats. When bats get into the home, it could be to overwinter or it could be accidental. There's two main times people find bats in the home. One, when they're getting into the home to hibernate, which is usually the end of the summer in the fall, or when the young of the year, which is usually the end of July, beginning of August, enter the home because they're trying to find new locations. So the best way to keep bats out is exclusion. There are no toxicants or baits, sprays, any repellents. Most university tests, including UNL's tests, show the repellents hardly work at all and not very effective and not really the right amount of money spent for what you can get. Ex the best thing is spending your money on exclusion. Now a bat, they have bones just like any other vertebrate, but they can squeeze in with their small bones into small locations. So let's just say that this is an area in your house where you have a slit that goes in the attic or in some other part of the home. Even the basement they may want to get into. So what you would normally do, if this is a slit, you can hang this there. The reason why you just don't want to caulk or seal that slit, you want to make sure all the bats are out of the attic, whether it's summertime or any other time. Now, in the winter, the bats will not move back and forth. So in the summer and the spring, the bats will be moving back and forth to get water, and they dive over ponds, they dive over pools. So you can put this th area, this material, it's just bird netting, the bats will come out hit the netting, drop down, and fly away for the day or evening to feed. When they come back, they try to get in. They can't. And after about three or four weeks of having the netting, and remember, this would have to be after July, we always say, let them fly till July. That way, you won't trap any young in the attic. And this is going to be the big difference with these some bats being endangered or threatened in our state. You're not going to be able to exclude them out until after July, that way everybody's sure the babies can move on their own and the mother's in the nursery. So if you wait till July and put the netting, almost all of them will come out within a week's time. Then you can caulk up and seal this. If you want to remove the bats, there's some other ways you can use it, kind of the same way. If you have a bigger hole, you can make that hole smaller. The bats will come out, but they'll have a hard time figuring out how to come in. So you have a hole, you nail this to the hole, the bats come out all during July. By August, you seal up the hole, and your problem is solved. Now remember, exclusion is the best thing. Some people like to build bat houses. These will not keep them out of your area, but it also attracts them to your area and allows more bats to be in your area. So remember, exclude the bats after July, and if you want to keep the bats around the area but don't want them in your house, think about building a bat house. <music>